everybody so today is hot sauce day I have been making a couple of hot sauces over the course of the summer and you know I'm getting them hot they're hot they have fantastic flavor but they're just not hot enough um, so today I'm making one that I'm hoping um, that I won't even be able to taste I'm hoping that I can just uh, say smell it and go you know what it's hot enough I'm good to go so the peppers that I'm using today for this is I've got my jalapenos, I've got seven of them. Some of them are really aged and should be pretty, pretty spicy. Um, we have a couple of cherry bombs. These are our hot cherry bomb peppers. I mean, they're not crazy hot, but they've got a good bit of kick to them. Um, I've got some habanero peppers, four of them, and they are really red and really good size. I've got two ghost peppers here. And then um, the cherry on the top, I guess you could say, is this Carolina Reaper. It is huge for a Reaper. It's a really good size and it is bright red. So I'm guessing that that's probably going to take my breath away just to cut it open. So I'm definitely not going to film that. So I'm going to go ahead and chop these peppers up, um, get them diced and good to go. I've already juiced my tomatoes. I did half whole tomatoes that I chopped and then I juiced the other half. So I've got about 16 cups of... Uh, tomatoes and tomato juice total. So it's going to make a pretty good sized batch. And then I'm going to let this cook for a couple of hours. I want it to cook down to about half. I'm trying to get as hot as I can. Um, we're going to add some vinegar and some garlic and some other things uh, to get it going. But this is our start. I just wanted to show you what the peppers look like. Okay, so our hot sauce has been cooking down now for just about actually three hours. I let it cook a little bit longer than I normally do. So this is your consistency. It's like a thin tomato sauce. So then what you're going to do is you're going to stick it into your blender. Okay. And I go about halfway with this because I want to make sure that I get a really smooth blend. Um, and also because it's so hot, it will puree up into the lid and you don't really want that to happen. Alright. So we're going to do power and crush. Alright, and I run that for 15 seconds, something like that. And then it's going to take it down to the perfect consistency. And then you can go straight from your blender right into your jars. So I'm going to go ahead and fill the rest of these jars up. I have quite a bit of hot sauce. And then we will take a look at the finished product. Hey guys, so I went ahead and processed or pureed the rest of our hot sauce. And it ended up making 14 half pints. So this is what it looks like when it's finished. Now I do still have to water bath can this. I'm doing two... Um, batches of seven. I am going to process it once we come to a full boil in here. I'm going to process for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to pull my jars up like they are now, let them sit for another five, and then I pull them out and put them on the towel. I don't think I should have any issues with any kind of uh, non uh, process. I should be in good shape. They should all seal. So this is what you're left with. Yes, you can still see the pepper seeds. The blender does not puree them. I kind of like it this way. Definitely shows me um, that it's hot. I mean, it's got a lot of pepper seeds in it. And like I said earlier, all I do is I cut the stem off of the pepper and I chop the rest and use it all. So I don't, I don't take the seeds out. I don't take the, the pith out of the center. Everything is there. So this is what we're left with. Pretty good texture hot sauce. So if you are looking for that recipe, go ahead and hit me up in the comments and I'm happy to provide that for you and happy canning.